Activist, a leading nonprofit research and advisory organization that is focused on expanding opportunities for women in business, performed a study that states that Fortune 500 companies with the highest representation of women board directors attained significantly higher financial performance in three important measures, return on equity, return on sales, return on invested capital. Today we have with us a woman who holds one of the most critical positions in an organization. She's a practicing lawyer with over 17 years of experience, a wife, and a mother. Thank you, Zakia Riaz Ali, for taking the time to be with us today. You're welcome, Fatima. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I start in the name of Allah, the most compassionate and the merciful. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start with the questions straight away. Um, can you tell us a little bit about your background and your education? Um, I'm actually from Raipur a town in India, uh, now in Chhattisgarh, um, capital town of Chhattisgarh actually now, which was earlier part of Madhya Pradesh when I was doing my schooling and when I was born. And I did my schooling from Salem School okay. and uh, uh, during my O-levels and A-levels I studied there. Okay. And uh, after that I did my graduation, BA, Bachelor in Arts from uh, Ravi Shankar Shukla University okay. in Raipur. And my subjects were English literature, political science, and psychology. Okay. But you, you know, right from the school days, I was focused yeah. on doing law. Yeah. And uh, ultimately, you know, after finishing, at that time, you know, there was, uh, you know, a requirement of doing a first degree right. before doing LLB. Right. So I had to first finish BA okay. and uh, soon after completion of my BA degree, mm -hmm. I started pursuing LLB and at that time LLB in Raipur was only evening classes okay. because most of the practicing lawyers yeah. would come and teach right. in the university right. and uh, I did it um, from 1993 and finished the degree in 1996. Okay. Then I did my internship for a year. And then I was registered and enrolled as an advocate okay. in 1998. Okay. Practiced for a year there, mm -hmm. and I got married in 99. Yeah, you and mentioned a little bit that you taught also for a bit, right? You were teaching. Yeah, yeah, um, because you know, like uh, when um, um, after finishing my BA, you yeah. know, I had done Bachelor of Arts in um, my, my subjects were English literature and psychology. Okay. So. While I was doing my LLB because it was evening classes, right. so the, the daytime I was, I was free, I had time, okay. Okay. ample of time. So I utilized that time teaching kids in primary school right. and I was teaching English literature okay. and okay. Uh, that's it. And then after my, finishing my, this, um, uh, getting my enrollment, okay. I got married and after getting married, I landed up here in Tanzania. Right. And you, and you continued uh, doing your career even after you were, yeah, I mean, yeah. practicing your I was fortunate enough, you know, to yeah. get a job here, right. uh, which was connected to my profession. Right. Because, you know, like uh, lining up here and then, you know, getting up a job yeah. with the same profession. Because, yeah. you know, there are, uh, people face difficulties, you know, right. getting uh, a continuity in the same profession, you right. know. But I was fortunate enough to get it. Right. And I guess you're also very determined because you've studied it and you know you yeah. you were determined to do that. Yeah. Um, how well do you think uh, university and you know being in a university and going and studying amongst other students prepare you for for a job? Uh, university, you know, um, academically, university has a very important role to play. I don't okay. deny that because the basic foundation yeah. for uh, my career was, uh, you know, founded from there, right. okay? Right. And uh, actually, um, that, was the, that was the foundation which, where I am today. Yeah, yeah. So is what is the result? Yeah, it's very right. significant. Right. Though, you know, where I am today um, uh, is a result of, uh, you know, like practical training also. Right. Because uh, you, you, cannot, you cannot grow to a level only on the basic of academics. Exactly. You need to grow with your practical training, you know, right. which I was given enough exposure. Right, right. Yeah. But I cannot deny the, you know, um, input from my university. Yeah, yeah. And my professors there. Yeah. Yeah. And there was a great, uh, you know, input from them. Right. 
the mood codes we used to attend there. Yeah, it was a good experience. And um, I think it's so important to also, um, you know, point out that even if you have a degree in anything, in medicine or in business, yeah. if you're not going to do anything with that degree, you know, it's, uh, it's insignificant, I feel. Like, I think it's so important to practice and to, to do something with your life and to give back, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, uh, what abilities or qualities do you believe um, contribute most to the success in your field? You know, since the time, you know, I was a child, you know, uh, I still remember, you know, I have been very argumentative. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, I was never letting things go. Right, right, okay. Be it in the family, with right. the siblings, be it with the parents, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. be it with the teachers, okay. or with the friends, or the peer group. Yeah. I, there was always logical reasoning for right. all the arguments. Yeah, that's right. Yeah? yeah? So that was the basic, okay. basic point, you know. Yeah. You know, that was the basic attitude, right. yeah. which was, you know, like turning me towards this profession. Right, right. And is and that then, something you, you realized yourself or yeah, somebody told you? No, no, I, I realized it myself. It's, okay, okay. Because, you know, at times, you know, people used to tell me, you are going to be a lawyer. You talk like a lawyer. Yeah. Says, right. yeah, I am going to be a lawyer. Right, right. I know that. Right. Okay. <laughs> and then you know, like working under pressure. You know, I enjoy working. Actually, I enjoy working under pressure. Okay. Okay. From the beginning, you know, I enjoy working under pressure, and uh, I know, um, I know, you know, like uh, to I have some deadlines. Right. To beat deadlines. Right. And uh, um, struggle is part of my life from beginning. Right. Right. So there are things, you know, which from beginning of my life, you know, I knew that I had a direction right. of where I was going. Right. And also the, another ability, the analytical ability, right. which right. was in me of doing analysis of everything. This is happening. Why? Yeah. There's something. Right. Doing analysis of every small thing right. Right. was also, you know, yeah. like connecting me to this profession. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Though I'm not, I'm not, you know, into the criminal aspect of this profession. <laughs> okay. I, 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 am not interested in that. No. In no. criminal field, I'm not at all interested. Interested. Okay. But you know, um, still, you know, being in civil practice also, okay. or in other corporate areas also, you need to okay. think and have reasonable and logical thinking. Right. No, it's so amazing because from a young age you yeah. was, you were so intuitive about like what you wanted to do and like what your strengths were. You know, I think for other people it takes years and years to figure out you know what they that they like to do. And they always say that if you're good at something and that you you're passionate about something, it'll never be a job for you. It's more like you know something you enjoy doing. So yeah. you're gonna enjoy your yeah. life. Yeah, you know? it's true. So, um, do you think your upbringing had a lot to do with your success as a lawyer? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course, you know, uh, you know, we are a very, uh, I belong to a very closely knit family. We okay. have very, I share a very strong bond with my parents and with yeah. my sibling, very close bond. Yeah. Actually, my father um, um, is the eldest amongst his siblings and right. he lost his father at a very, very young age right. and he could not, you know, um, study yeah, yeah. because he had to concentrate to bring his siblings. Yeah. Yeah. So he made sure that, you know, his yeah. kids get best of the education yeah. and whatever, you know, were our interest, he motivated us right. and, you know, he made sure that we got it. Right. You know, in, in 1990s where, you know, um, like in 1990s, where in, in uh, where I was pursuing law, right. um, I used to go for evening classes. Right. Okay, and being a girl, right. yeah. he, he used to make sure that I reached the university yeah. on time. Yeah. yeah. And he contributed a lot. Right. And basically, you know, when you say about the uh, uh, the contribution of his upbringing, you know, the rational thinking, right. Right. and uh, this analytical. Um, uh, uh, approach right. I have inherited from him. Yeah, yeah. I have inherited from him. Even now today, if you see, you know, uh, it's not about only upbringing. Even today, you know, if you see my uh, my sibling, right. 
my sister Mubina, I am so I am so connected to her, and she is so connected to me. I can say that she is my philosopher, guide, and friend, yeah. and she has been source of motivation. If I have a problem today, I look back and see her at her today. Right. I just right. call her. So, yeah. yeah, they have a very important role. Yeah, and you're so right because I think that sometimes pe parents don't realize, yeah. you know, just how much of a of a role they play in yeah. their children in the children's lives yeah, yeah. and just like you i think that my dad also spent so much time making sure that we were well educated yeah. that we played sports and that we were always always um you know doing something significant with our lives yeah, yeah. you know and it's beautiful because when you have kids they watch you and so then they don't, you know, they, they have like a role model to look yeah, up to yeah, at home, yeah, you know. So yeah. they know that they have to live up to that yeah. expectation. Exactly. Yeah, I think, I think it's wonderful. And I think that yeah. parents really need to take yeah. on that. That yeah. they are the, you know, they need to support their kids, you know, with education, for sure. Yeah. Um, so, um, so I guess it was much easier for you compared to, I guess, a lot of your friends that you saw to, to, to rise to the challenge. Yeah, you know, become... you know, at that time, you know, uh, when I was being educated, you right. know, my other friends were getting married. Yeah. yeah. When they had other aims to, uh, and goals to achieve, you know, right. they were forced to marry, yeah. you know. So like, you know, I feel blessed. Exactly. At times yeah. when I look back, I feel blessed to have right. such a family. Yeah, because with also, um, being educated with having a job, you you know you feel a sense of um, empowerment, a sense of independence, you yeah. know, and also there is no fear that I'm never going to be taken care of. There's a fear that you know there's that um, sort of you feel empowered enough to take care of yourself, and I, I think that's such a wonderful thing, you know. Um, can you you know you're a mother and you're you're a wife, yeah. so I generally ask this a lot because um, I think that. A lot of our viewers um, become hesitant to start working if they're mothers or a little, little older because yeah. they feel like they won't be able to balance yeah, yeah, their life. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about how you do that? Um, my husband, you know, um, he is very supportive. He yeah. is a gem of a person. Right. He has been very supportive and uh, I can say he's a key to all the problems in my life. Yeah. There's, there are no other words to describe him. Okay. And uh, now what I am here today, and because, you know, I cannot work without his support. Right. I cannot work. Right. What I have become today is yeah. because of the support of my parents. But what I'm doing today, I cannot do without his support exactly. now. Exactly. Yeah. If he will not support me now, I, yeah. I won't be able to do what I'm doing today. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of all what my parents have done, yeah. I won't be able to do. Right. Yeah. So equally, the way my parents have supported, it mm -hmm. is a support today. Right. And I'm really blessed to have him, and I thank Allah Salvatullah to, to have blessed him with yeah. me with him. Yeah. And uh, as far as my daughter Sarah is concerned, she's. I don't have words to express. Yeah. At times when I go home, I'm stressed. I go home, I see her delightful face yeah. and all the stress is gone. My other daughter Zahra is in India, right. you know that. Yeah. You know, my younger daughter, she, for medical reasons, I had to leave her there. Right. You know, like Fatima, but that is not, uh, life is not a bed of roses, no. you know. It's no. not a bed of roses. No. It's like you have to definitely sacrifice something, yeah. you know. Right. To be something, you have to sacrifice something, right. you know. But today technology has gone to a level though she's not with me here yeah. but i am literally seeing her growing up i know every day every day i talk to her yeah. i see her what is she's doing yeah. and what's what is new happening with her yeah. and you know i'm very much emotionally uh, I'm, I'm physically not connected but very much emotionally connected to her right right okay yeah so you know like you need to have you know boundaries everywhere right, right. yeah and then we need to then think you know how and how to set our goals right and move forward yeah in our life yeah. yes profession and career is important yeah but family is also important but, so yeah. we need to have a check and balance between the profession and career yeah. but there's something more to say here 
uh, apart from, you know, sometimes, you know, um, relations, uh, relationships are very important, yeah. okay? Yeah. There are relations which are, which are form relationships which are by blood, yeah. which we don't choose, yes. okay? Yeah. But there are friends in our life, yeah. okay? Yeah. Which we, whom we choose. Yeah. And, you know, I'm really blessed to have a very good friend here. Okay, you know what, um, uh, right from my childhood, yeah. from my hometown, right. she is here up to now. Wow. And she has been a big support, her name is Shakira, okay. she is here. Yeah. And she has been a very big support even here. Why I am uh, why I'm, uh, mentioning her, because you know, she has been there also for me, right. as a family, right. and has been a support. Because, you know, at the time when I wanted to start my career here, yeah. when I wanted to start my career, I was a bit hesitant. Right, right. Because this was a new place. Yeah. And she landed up here before me, three okay. years before me. Okay. And when I came here, I had no job. Yeah. And I was quite busy when I was in India. So yeah. when I came here, I was homesick and I was feeling like, you know, yeah. there's no life here, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, people were giving me mixed opinions. Right. Should I work or should I not work? Right. Should I work or should I? People were saying, no, no, this place, you can't work, you know. Yeah. Being a woman, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's not a good idea to work yeah. here. She is the one, she motivated me to work here, she yeah. and her husband. Yeah. She told me, no, no. You should. Yeah. 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 This is a, if people are misguiding you, they are demotivating you, don't look, yeah. give an ear to them. Yeah. So she and her, her husband are cause they have motivated me to work here. Yeah. Yeah. So if I don't mention them here today, yeah. I'm not doing justice to them. I agree with you so much because I think that it's so important to have friends who empower you yeah. and to keep those friends because yeah. they are the ones who will A, tell you if you're doing something wrong yeah. and they will tell you to your face yeah. and they will also, you know, um, only think of what is good for you yeah. and um, yeah it's so important to also build those relationships yeah um, okay so now I'm gonna go into more of your your career and as being a female lawyer uh, what are some of the challenges you face when you're in a courtroom um, <laughs> as a female yeah as such I don't face any such okay. challenges yeah you know, people talk about female gender and differences. Right. To be very frank, I'll tell you one thing very frankly. Right. I have not faced yeah. such a difference right. here even once. Yeah. Even once. Yeah. And in fact, you know, uh, yes, the difference is there, but yeah. in a very positive way. You really? get more respect. Really? Yeah. Yeah? It's yeah. not in a negative way, it's right. in a positive way. You get more respect. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, first of all, you know, I'll tell you one thing. When I joined the company, right. okay, um, our chairman, mm -hmm. Mr. Gulam Devji, whom yeah. we respectfully call Gulam Bhai, yeah. and our CEO, right. Mr. Muhammad Devji, yeah. popularly, popularly known as Mo, yeah. they had, they have shown their confidence in me hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Being a lady. Yeah. Okay, they have never, you know, shown any type of doubt in me. No. Never. Yeah. yeah. From the, it's not now. It's from funny. the day one. Yeah, and they rely on you. Huh? Yeah. They rely on me and from the day one I've seen that confidence in them. Right. So, from the time I've landed in this company, in Mohammed yeah. Enterprise, I've never seen yeah. that difference, that gender yeah. difference. So, I don't know about yeah. gender difference here. And I'm, you know, I'm bringing this up because I know this. Yeah. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. I think that... Even me, I've been working for five and a half years, which is yeah. nothing compared yeah. to 17 years. But yeah. I have never, ever faced any sort of um, gender inequality or being um, not taken seriously. Yeah. Um, I think that it's so important to reinforce that because I think that a lot of our viewers are very afraid that, you know, if they start working, that they're not going to be taken seriously or they won't achieve as much, yeah. you know. Um, and yes, I, I really do think that uh, that my dad for sure he when we were growing up I had four brothers 
he did not care that I was a girl. No. I had to do the same sort of things. I had to work as hard and you know, it was never, I remember this one scene where I was so tired because I, I didn't want to play golf anymore. I was exhausted because I was training so much. And I told him, well, I'm, I'm a girl, just leave me alone. And he said, I don't care. You, you're a girl and you're going to do it. You know, and the type of responsibility that we get is nothing less than yeah, anybody else. Yeah, yeah. Our work hours sometimes are even more, yeah. you know, and um, I, I think that is just, it's wonderful to because, you know, be I think, you know, level. Yeah. I think, you know, they are, they are relying on us more. Right. Uh, because they are confiding on, on us more. Right. Okay, right. and and forget about them. Even the the even the local law is here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to mention Dr. Lamoy here, who's yeah. our senior counsel. You know, I have grown up with him here right. professionally, right. and I see. You know, he is so confident, and he has uh, he has never discriminated. You know, there there has never been any discrimination, yeah. Yeah. even by him. You know, no. uh, me being a lady yeah. or being an outsider. Never. Mm -hmm. He has been always welcoming exactly. and there's a, a level of respect, a very high level of respect, you yeah. know, very high yeah. level of respect. Yeah. And, and I, and I want to reinforce this because I bring it up in almost every interview I yeah, do yeah. because yeah. I really do believe that there is a fear out there. Yeah. And I want to just tell everybody that yeah. there honestly is no fear yeah. 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 of, you know, being discriminated in on any way. And I think that, yes, there comes so much respect being a woman and being in a, in a high position. Um, and yeah, it's, it's wonderful, you know. Yeah. Um, and in the Tanzanian culture itself, I feel like so many women work, yeah. you know. Yeah. And they work and they have families and they have kids and yeah. yet they, they're there to do so well. Yeah, you know? and even, you know, when we're appearing in courts, you know. Yeah. Uh, like now in judiciary, we, fee, we see 20% of judges are, are women. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So uh, they are more welcoming now. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, I think we are bringing more gender gender discrimination right. than right. what it is there actually. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it looks like you ha you you know you're you're can be such an inspiration to so many women or girls out there who have you know who, because you've achieved so much and you've done so much and you know I just I'd, I'd like to take your view on if you have any advice for you know um, any women who want to build their careers you know what they can do or how, the, how about their attitude what, what can you say to help out? Um, see for any profession right. not only for being a lawyer you know for any yeah. profession you know you have to be focused. Yeah. You have to be focused. You have to be confident. Yeah. You have to be honest. Yeah. Honesty and integrity is a very important part of any profession, you know. Right. If you are honest, confident, you are devoted to your profession, <coughs> and uh, all these elements are there, you know, then that gender discrimination is nowhere. Right. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. First thing. Second thing, you know, if you love your profession, yeah. if you love your job, right. if you love your job, you will always be successful. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. So, always love what you are doing. Yeah. If you don't love what you are doing, forget about it. Yeah. Start doing something else. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, I want to quote something which Nelson Mandela had said about right. education. Right. That education is one of the most important we weapon which you right. can use to change the world. Exactly. Yeah. So I think it's high time that, you know, um, girls, parents should, you know, be aware, you know, there should be awareness in parents. Right. And instead of just, you know, uh, after form four, form six, yeah. getting their daughters married, yeah. Huh? Yeah. make awareness in the daughters, getting right. educated, get, right. getting them for their education right. so that, you know, tomorrow they build up their careers yeah. and they make something out of themselves, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I need to, you know, tell our girls that, you know, it's high time. Yeah. They should start thinking that, you know, being educated is very important aspect of life. Yeah. Marriage is not the end of the world. No. Yeah. yeah, marriage is important, right. but that's not the end of the world. Right. Yeah. You can get married and still get ed educated. Exactly. Yeah? Yeah. So, 
education is a must. Yeah. Education is a must. And it's it's so important that it's in our religion. Yeah. They tell you that yeah. you have to. You know, I yeah. think I think people are not aware of the right picture of Islam. Yeah, it's more culture. That's the issue. That's somebody the, three days back, somebody asked me, Ki, uh, how, "How can your husband allow you to work?" Yeah. Or somebody asked me. Um, uh, Islam does not permit um, a woman to work outside. I said, do you know that Prophet Muhammad's wife <laughs> was a businesswoman? Yeah, and the uh, biggest businesswoman yeah, in Arabia yeah, at that time. Yeah. yeah, so like she was shocked because people are not given the right picture of Islam. Yeah, and then the worst part is that you meet, um, you know, you meet outsiders who are, you know, outside the religion and then they have this picture that you know, oh, a girl wearing hijab, well, she's probably not doing anything with her life because that is what sort of picture we have created for yeah, the world. Yeah. And it's so wrong because yeah. we have so many empowered Muslim women in this world, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, and, you know, that you, you're so right about education and you're so... I think that girls need, from a very young age, first of all, parents need to really push their kids, yeah. you know. And I think that I had no time and that is why I was so focused because I was on such a strict regimen since I was young that through my teen years and those are the years that are so important I've realized because that's where your mind is you know if you let it just swift a little that's it you're, yeah, you you yeah. start getting into the worst yeah, things yeah. and my dad I guess you know even he was not educated but he was so wise that he made sure that our mind was occupied at that you time. You know, uh, it's right. not only education, you know, Fatima, yeah. here, because he is a very experienced person. Right, right. Yeah, through the yeah. experience he knew what was right for his kids, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and there were times that, you know, I remember I was so uh, uh, angry and tired, you know, but with hindsight, I am so thankful because I just believe that I am where I am and it's because of my dad, yeah. you know, and it's because of the values that my mom also gave me. Yeah. But those didn't come easy. There were so many, there, there were times where I was just done, like, because it was, he, you know, he's a strict person, you know, but um, Alhamdulillah, I can say that really, parents need to really, really, even if they have to be strict with their kids, it is important. You have to, especially when you are a teenager and you have to just push your kids to study because you have to remember that they're going to be mothers and that they have to give the same values to their kids, you know? And even if, if, if you know, you think that, oh, it's a girl and I have to get her married and marriage is so important, I believe, you know? but. You have to also build a life for yourself, yeah, you know, yeah. and and it's all in our religion. Do it within certain bounds. Wear your hijab correctly, but do it, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, do, is there any final thoughts you have? That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. I was very very inspired by everything you had to say. I actually didn't, even though we worked together, I'm not. I haven't. I didn't know much about you. But now I do. So thank you so much for being on the show. And um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks thank a lot. You.